Introduction Teacher, I need to close the glass window. The sun rays are causing a lot of heat. Okay, Aditi, you can close the window. Once you do that, can you tell me what you meant by the term rays? I don't know, teacher. That's how we refer to the sunlight. Well, we will learn about lines, rays and angles today. Children, in this lesson we will learn about the angles and the types of angles. We will also learn about lines, pairs of lines and parallel lines. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the different types of angles, Describe lines and pairs of lines. Explain parallel lines. Overview. There are different types of lines that you use when you create a simple picture. You can create a simple house, a sun and so on. And you use the simple lines to denote these pictures. Let us look at the various types of lines used. Line. A line has no beginning and no end. You can stretch a line infinitely in both directions. Line segment. A line segment has a beginning and an end. Ray. A ray has a starting point but no end. Angle. An angle is created with two rays having the same starting point. The starting point is called the vertex and the rays are called sides of the angle. Related angles. An angle is defined as the union of two rays that have the same end point. The sides of the angles are the two rays. While the vertex is the common end point, there are four types of angles. They are complementary angles, supplementary angles, adjacent angles and vertical angles. Now, take a brief look on all the angles. Complementary angles are two angles whose measures add up to 90 degrees. Supplementary angles are two angles whose measures add up to 180 degrees. Adjacent angles are angles with a common vertex and a common side but no interior points. A pair of adjacent angles with rays as the non-common sides is called a linear pair. Vertical angles are two angles that have a common vertex and whose sides form two lines. Intersecting lines. Two lines are related to each other in different ways. Let us look at each way separately. Intersecting lines are lines that have one and only one point in common. This meeting point is called point of intersection. Transversal. A transversal is a line that passes through two lines at different points. Mostly, a transversal produces several angles. Angles made by a transversal. Transversals form seven types of angles. They are described as corresponding angles, interior angles, exterior angles, alternate interior angles, consecutive interior angles, alternate exterior angles, Consecutive exterior angles. Click each button to know more about above mentioned angles. Transversal of parallel lines. When a transversal cuts through parallel lines, you will see that corresponding angles are equal. Pairs of alternate interior angles are equal. Pairs of interior angles are supplementary. Parallel lines. Lines are parallel if they are always the same distance apart and never meet. You can also check if lines are parallel by cutting the lines using a transversal. If the corresponding angles are equal, the pairs of alternate interior angles are equal and the pairs of alternate interior angles are supplementary, then the lines have to be parallel. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. Line have no beginning and no end, but a line segment has a beginning and an end. Similarly, a ray has a starting point but no end. An angle is created with two rays having the same starting point. Two lines are related to each other in four ways, intersecting lines, transversal, angles of a transversal and transversal of parallel lines. If the corresponding angles and the pairs of alternate interior angles are equal, then the lines have to be parallel.